Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I decided to do a kind of compilation of all of the affordable clean beauty lipsticks that I love that are in my collection that are under $25 is what I'm calling affordable in this video, but I do have plenty that are under like the 15 or $10 mark. So make sure to stay tuned if you're interested. This video is fun for me because lips are my favorite part of any makeup look. So I have a really big lip collection and I just pulled the best of the best for you guys. So you'll see me try other things in other videos that I even like, but I wanted to make sure I was recommending good stuff to you. Please don't mind the fact that I don't have paint on my nails today. I took off the paint last night and my nails were looking a little bedraggled. So I put some oil on them and I'm just kind of letting them sit for 24, 48 hours before I put more paint on them. Long intro short, let's get started on these affordable lipsticks. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go like category by category today and I'm gonna start with lip balms and like tinted oils, that kind of like lightweight thing. And I wanna start with the Pacifica Color Quench Lip Tints. So I have these in the shades Blood Orange and Vanilla Hibiscus. Starting out, Vanilla Hibiscus is down here. I don't know if you can really see that one, but it has a really nice healthy tint to it. And then Blood Orange is up here. So one thing about this formula specifically that I like so much is that they're honestly the closest thing formulation wise that you're gonna find to like your standard formula chapstick. Something a little bit waxy, except I think that they're more hydrating and they don't like create a wax coating on your lips. That's really nice. Oh, and I didn't mention these are $5. So they do have coconut oil in them. I'm going to tell you guys what out of this entire collection does have coconut oil in it and what doesn't. Just in case you are someone who's even sensitive to coconut oil on your lips, I wanted to make sure that I dove deep into those ingredients just to kind of tell you guys, give you a heads up. Okay, so you guys have seen the swatches. I think I'm actually going to put on this vanilla hibiscus shade just because I want you guys to see the like healthy natural shine that it gives to your lips if you really want something kind of basic and natural for the day. Okay, so next up we have the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balms. I'm sure you guys have heard of these. These are $5 as well. And I have the shades Red Dahlia and Zinnia. So Pacificas are down here, but this is the Burt's Bees Tint in Red Dahlia. And this is the shade Zinnia. They do have coconut oil in them, but they are also just like oil based, which is kind of funny because some Burt's Bees products are very wax based since, you know, beeswax is a common ingredient in their products. <laughs> Next is the Pacifica, or not Pacifica, Physicians Formula Organic Wear Lip Treatment. This retails for $9.49. It does have coconut oil in it. And I would kind of describe this as being like halfway between the Pacifica, like almost normal chapstick formulation and the Burt's Bees like oily formulation. One thing about these that's really nice is that they have a completely metal tube. They screw on and off. So there's no plastic involved whatsoever. And this one I have in the shade clear, but they have a couple different colors. And I actually do have another color of this, but I couldn't find it. It got lost in a purse somewhere, I'm sure. Let me just kind of swatch right here for you guys. So you can see that it just has a really nice healthy tint to it. This one I'm not gonna do the slow-mo on or anything just because it is completely clear, but I really, really like this one. And then we have the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Oil. This retails for $8.99. So this has like a brush. I have it in the shade Whispering Orchid. So I have a pretty pink shade. And you just twist up, as you can see, it's coming out the top there. Let's see if I can swatch it over here for you guys. So it is... You know, you can sheer it out, but it does have a nice tint to it. This one does have coconut oil in it, but interestingly enough, coconut oil was listed as like the eighth ingredient on the list. So it, it doesn't have nearly as much in it compared to all of the other lip products I'm gonna be talking about today. Most of them that have coconut oil in there, it's like one of the first three ingredients. But yeah, let me show you guys kind of what this looks like. Okay guys, so we are moving on to liquid lips and I know this is gonna be a lot of people's favorite. Again, I have to mention that I have tried other liquid lips on my channel that you've seen before that aren't going to be in this video. These are just the ones that are under, under $25 that I really actually would recommend, like I think are really good, nice, hydrating, great 
quality. Okay, so of course, we're gonna start with the Honest Beauty lipsticks. Uh, I have these in three different shades. I have the shade Passion, Forever, and Love. I'm gonna swatch all three of these for you on the back of my hand. Okay, I have to apologize because I'm really not the prettiest swatcher, but this shade down here is Passion. Then in the middle, we have this like purpley forever shade. And then up here, <laughs> we have the shade Love. So if I did mention these retail for $14.99, they don't have any coconut oil in them, but they do have coconut alkanes and cocoa caprolate. Although for me specifically, like if I put coconut alkanes on my face, that doesn't always break me out. So. Just be aware. Also, these formulas are not drying. They stick around. They are pretty transfer proof. I think they will always look good, but it's the kind of transfer proof lipstick where I would say that like it will get on a cup that you're drinking at least a little bit. It'll wear gracefully. I don't know. It doesn't get patchy as it wears. It pretty much keeps its pigment throughout the night. It's really impressive to me. So they are really long wearing. These are the lipsticks I turn to really long work days or just big events, things like that. Okay, so moving on to our next one. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Matte Lipstick. I have it in the shade Slay. These retail for $20, so they are a little bit more pricey. This is really just a very comfortable matte lip. So this up here is the shade Slay in the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lip. Bare Minerals can be a little bit intimidating, I think, to people in clean and green beauty because there are some ingredients that Bare Minerals uses that at least I wasn't as familiar with at the beginning of my green beauty journey. So they have a couple ingredients in their products like isododecane or uh, hydrogenated polyisobutane. I know that those sound really intimidating, but after doing my own research, I deemed that those are ingredients I'm completely fine with putting on my lips. I feel like they're safe. I'm completely comfortable ingesting them, but that is something you wanna do on your own you know, time, make sure that you research these things. But just to give you kind of an idea, um, isododecane is really just in most cosmetic products, at least for like spreadability. It just kind of helps things glide. It's not, from my understanding, a full silicone like dimethicone, but it, it's used for similar purposes. And then hydrogenated polyisobutane is usually used for like, one, just making a smooth appearance. So basically if you have wrinkles or lines in your lips, it'll smooth those over, almost fill them in um, and still make the top of the lips, lips look really, really nice and plump. And hydrogenated polyisobutane is also an ingredient that is often used to like hold products together um, and make sure that the formulation doesn't separate. But All Bare Minerals products are completely vegan and this lipstick checks out for me. This formula is also not drying, it is pretty much, I'd say like 90% transfer proof. It looks really, really nice. Um, much like the Honest Beauty lipsticks, it wears down in a very graceful way. Okay, so let me show you what Slay looks like on the lips. Oh my gosh, guys, I just have to cut in here again before I move on to the next lipstick. This is so buttery when you put it on the lips. It smells really nice. It's really, it kind of smells like vanilla, almost like milk chocolate even. It just smells really nice. I don't think the fragrance is overpowering and oh my gosh, I just, the spreadability of it, it's that isododecane in there. That's, that's what I'm feeling. Okay, I tried to get these swatches off the back of my hand, but some of these liquid lipsticks are super pigmented. I did my best. Okay, next are a personal favorite of mine. These are the Pacifica Plushes Liquid Mineral Lipsticks. These retail for $10 normally, but they are in like the last call section on Pacifica, which is really sad to me because I think eventually they're gonna disappear. But right now in the last call section, you can get them for $7, I think, instead of 10. These do not have coconut oil in them, but they do have other coconut derivatives. They are so thin, they are versatile, they are just, a dream. These are really the only products from Pacifica that I completely rave about. I mean, I just have fallen in love with them. I have these in the shades, oh shoot. The one thing that kind of sucks about this packaging is that it doesn't say the shade name, um, but I do think I know this is Breathless, this lighter color, and then I have the shade Velvet Kiss. Let me swatch these for you. Okay, so down here is Velvet Kiss, and then up here is Breathless. Earlier when I said that these are lightweight, I mean like I've said this in other videos, but this is the most lightweight lip formula I've ever put on my lips. Like it just feels so 
amazing and it is still very hydrating, which is awesome. The only thing is, I feel like I need to blot out Breathless for you or something. You can start to see how it could be matte or at least come across as satin, but I wouldn't say it feels like a matte lipstick by any means. It is a liquid lipstick, but it, it doesn't necessarily promise anything matte. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Breathless and I think what I'm gonna do is apply it like fully opaque at first and then try to blot off a little bit with uh, my rag here so you can kind of see what it looks like when you want to tone it down. <laughs> We have two left in this liquid lip category. So this is the Burt's Bees Glossy Liquid Lip and this retails for $9.99. This has zero coconut oil at all and no coconut alkanes, no derivatives, nothing. I have this in the shade Tidal Taupe. This one's kind of interesting to me because when I look at the ingredients, I'm like, there's not a whole lot of like smoothing ingredients added to it and not at least not like the ones that i normally see added to liquid lips or, or things like this to make sure that they're super smooth but this is so smoothing and just plumping and beautiful so this is the shade tidal taupe in the Burt's bees liquid lipstick these are not matte at all don't expect them to be but they are really really nice and healthy and beautiful since getting this i've wanted to go back and get like five more they're just they're really nice but they do have a very glossy finish it's just a lot more opaque than a normal gloss <laughs> If you're thinking that I have a ton of lipsticks that all are virtually the same like muted rosy neutral shade, then you would be correct. So lastly for the liquid lips, this is the e.l.f. matte liquid lipstick. This retails for $6. It has zero coconut oil in it and has surprisingly little ingredients for like a drugstore liquid lipstick. The ingredients it does have, I did a little bit of research on them and I hadn't heard of all of the names before, but I actually, once I looked at them, they serve the same purpose as a lot of the ingredients that I've seen in other liquid lipsticks. They just are basically the cheaper version of those. So that doesn't bother me as long as it's not toxic or harmful. And the ingredients that I found, there's no evidence that the ingredients that e.l.f. uses are harmful in any way. So that is great. I almost didn't put this on here because it is a little bit drying. However, it's kind of hard to find a matte liquid lipstick that isn't. Honestly, I have no qualms with just like throwing a lip balm on underneath or on top of a product like this. So I want to show you guys what this one looks like. I have this in the shade Blushing Rose. I guess I'll swatch it for you on my hand first. So this up here is what Blushing Rose looks like. And let me show you what it looks like on. <laughs> Did I mention that this is also probably the most transfer proof liquid lipstick that I have in my collection? Because it is. But I think that comes with it being so drying. Also, this is something that just dries down and I swear five seconds flat. It is so impressive. I mean, I guess there's a little bit that came off on there, but not too much. All right, guys. It's been like 10 minutes. I had to get up and walk a lap and just like let my lips rest for a second before going forward. So we have two categories left. We have bullet lipsticks, which we were about to get into, and then we have lip gloss. Bullet lipsticks, I have a couple different products in this category, but then for lip glosses, I only have two to recommend to you guys. So in bullet lipsticks, we are starting with the Mineral Fusion lipsticks. So these do have a little bit of coconut oil in them, I think, but they also have so many amazing ingredients that I just had to write it, some of them down. They have white tea, avocado oil, pomegranate seed oil, castor oil, and so much more. They are so hydrating and comfortable. They retail for $17.99 and oh my gosh, these are the best lipsticks that you will get in Clean Beauty for $17. They are, I guess, $18. These are so amazing. So I have this in the shade Flashy and Nude. I think they have eight shades. And the one drawback to these is that they are 
hydrating enough that they can like go outside the lips a little bit. So if you're using a dark shade in this line, like flashy, which I'm about to show you, using like a lip brush or a lip pencil to kind of outline the lips is kind of necessary. So this is the shade flashy down here. This is like a blood orange kind of color. And then this is the shade nude up here. I'm going to apply nude for you guys because one, this is my ultimate my lips but better shade i've raved about this in other videos i'm just so excited about this i've only had this for about a month and i got it because i loved this formula of the flashy color so much but i'm also going to apply this one today because i won't have to use like a lip liner or anything with it and i can show you guys just kind of what these look like when you just apply them like a regular everyday on the go kind of thing <laughs> Okay, next up on this list is the Silk Naturals Matte Sticks. I think these are closer to $6, but all of the range from the Silk Naturals lipsticks, depending on what finish you get, are like four to six dollars. There are a couple great things about Silk Naturals as a brand. First of all, their website is amazing. For every single lipstick that you visit, you can go look at a specific lipstick and it has like a chart underneath it telling you um, if certain dyes are used in it, the opacity like scale on a scale from one to six or five or something. They tell you in that chart if it is gluten or dye free, just a ton of different amazing information. Um, if it's vegan, stuff like that. But also if you don't wanna click on a specific lipstick to figure it out, this like left hand sidebar that they have on their website lets you sort by any of those things. So you can say, I want something that is either just this finish, like matte or whatever. I want something that is warm nude. I want something that's cool nude. I want something that is vegan. I want something without this kind of dye. I mean, it is just, so user-friendly and you can truly find anything you want. These lipsticks also have pretty minimal ingredients and the ingredients they do have are gonna hydrate your lips. They use like slightly cheaper hydrating products like Meadow Foam or Jojoba or things like that. And then the other thing they do to keep their lipsticks super affordable is put them in these really simple packages. And sometimes it's fun to have like a mineral fusion, fancy looking lipstick and sometimes you just don't wanna pay for the packaging and I think Silk Naturals gets that. So it kind of sucks that their packaging is plastic, that's unfortunate, but they are keeping it really, really simple, which I appreciate. So I have these in the shade Swoon and Tool. Swoon is a little bit more pinky brown shade and then Tool is like a ballerina pink shade. So I will swatch these for you guys on the back of my hand. A couple other things about this brand that you kind of they're kind of like you get what you pay for the darker colors can come across a little bit patchy and the actual shape of the tube and the size of it makes it hard to be precise and actually get like a good line on your lips so if you want that you have to use a lip pencil also i'm really glad that i watched someone's review of these before i bought them because they told me and this is true that you want to just like screw it upward at the rate that you're using it. You don't want to screw it up to see how much product is in there because it won't go back down. They just, they aren't made the best. But if you know that that's what you're buying beforehand, then that's fine. Like I don't mind that too much. So this shade right here is Swoon and this is the shade Tool. So these are both supposed to be matte lipsticks. And I will tell you right now that they are not really matte. They're just satin lipsticks. They can, especially if you blot them on, come across with like not a lot of shine, but they're just, they're not transfer proof by any means. And honestly, they wear off like any other lipsticks. For a bullet lipstick that is just satin, like expect it to last maybe a couple hours. So for this one, I'm gonna try to show you with the slightly darker color Swoon, how precise I can get with application with these, just so you kind of get an idea of what a slightly deeper middle of the road color from Silk Naturals looks like. Okay guys, next is the Well People Optimist Lipstick. This guy retails for $16.99. It has zero coconut oil or derivatives of coconut in it. It also is just a very satiny, smooth, buttery kind of texture. I think it comes in six different shades right now, so there aren't a lot of options, kind of like the Mineral Fusion lipstick. The fun part of this is that it has like what I call spy packaging. And while this packaging is totally fun, the nice thing about it is that because it's a lot less likely to like have the cap come off in a purse or something and the top gets all like hairy or lint or whatever on it. So I have this in the shade Soulmate. It's this really nice peachy shade. 
And let me swatch it up here. It is pretty orangey. This one up here is Soulmate. But as you can see, it has really nice opacity. It's really beautiful. I'm so excited to show you guys what this looks like on the lips. <laughs> The last thing I want to say about this is that this is the most similar formulation I can think of that I have in my collection to like a normal bullet lipstick that you would get from L'Oreal or Maybelline or whatever at the drugstore. It is just a little bit more stiff. I feel like a lot of clean beauty bullet lipsticks especially can be a little bit like just oily. Like they just, they have a lot of really great nourishing ingredients in there. But this one is just, it's not even super stiff. It's just stiff enough that you swipe it on and it doesn't move, which is really, really nice. Okay guys, so the very last product in the bullet lipstick category are these Burt's Bees Matte Sticks. These retail for $6.99. They do have coconut oil in them. And listen, I think a lot of people would disagree with me on the fact that these are anywhere near good because they are so dry and they really need like warming for them to actually be spreadable. Hold on, let me actually just take all of these off here so I can really work them into the skin on the back of my hand and you can see what I'm talking about. So these are what they look like up close. So they just have like a plastic top and they roll up out of the tube like this. Um, I have them in the shade, this is the one Liquid Honey, and then I have a slightly pinker shade in Buttery Blush. So let me just swatch Liquid Honey for you. So I am pressing pretty hard. And after a couple swipes, it is so pigmented and beautiful. And these are so transfer proof. It's insane for something that is $6.99 at the drugstore. Okay, so here's Buttery Blush. Okay, so you see that after warming it up, it comes across and it's really beautiful. I've used these with like a lip liner or a lip brush and they come across so beautiful. They do wear, I would say, a little bit faster than a normal matte lip. I would say that they could probably last you like six hours though. And they are so transfer proof. Like I, at least for me, I can kiss my boyfriend. I can drink something and they just do not transfer at all. It's amazing. It's awesome. They also just kind of, I think it depends on your lips, but they could be a little bit drying, just like the e.l.f. formula. Um, anything that is truly a matte lip, I think you're probably going to have to use like some kind of clear lip balm under or over just to make it a little bit more comfortable. But I actually really recommend these guys. I am so sorry to those of you who have tried these and just think they are dry and unusable, but I think that they have a place in my collection. You just have to appreciate them for what they are. I feel like I've showed you guys a lot of the really like nude or pink shade. So I'll go in with this like slightly more brown toned liquid honey shade. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are on the very last category, which is lip gloss. Oh, I don't know which one to start with. I told you I only have two. I guess I'll start with the one I like a little bit less and end on like a high note. So this one is the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer. I've talked about this before. I have this in the shade Bubbles. Um, this is basically the clear lip lacquer shade that has sparkle in it, but they do have just like a clear, clear shade without any kind of shimmer. These retail for only $3 and they have zero coconut oil or derivatives in them. To me, it's actually pretty hydrating. Um, it has a nice smoothing effect. I guess I could swatch this for you, but it's not gonna be, you know, crazy noticeable. But I guess you can still kind of see, especially when I hit it with the light, that there's definitely some reflect in there. I don't have anything against this. This is just a very simple lip lacquer and it's something that I just bought because I didn't need something insane. It was just something I want to be able to use as like a topper. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Okay guys, and the very last lip product that I have to recommend to you today is right near that $25 line. It is $24. This is the Thrive High Shine Lip Topper. This has coconut extract in it. I don't honestly know if coconut extract is that different from coconut oil and how 
it could break some people out. I have zero, I don't see coconut extract in a lot of beauty products, so I, I frankly don't know. But just be aware of that. This comes in only four shades, but all of them are super wearable. I have this in the shade Charlotte, which is this beautiful mauve color. It does have shine in it. Yeah, I hope you guys can see the like glitter reflex in there. This is worth every single penny, in my opinion. It is so beautiful. The thing that I like most about this is that it makes the lips look insane. Just, it has such smoothing, filling, plumping, beautiful. I don't think it's actually plumping, but it looks, any lip gloss, I guess, looks plumping on the lips. But it is just my favorite lip gloss formula I have ever found so far in Clean Beauty. So this is Charlotte. As you can see, it's just a really beautiful tint. And the thing I like most about this lip gloss is that even though it does wear off like a normal, lip gloss it keeps some color behind when it wears off so this really nice pinky tone just kind of i guess stains the lips when i say this is the most graceful wear it's just oh it's beautiful so this is what i'm going to end with today and do our outro with too because it is so gorgeous <laughs> So that is it for this video. One thing I do want to mention is that I am aware that I didn't do any kind of lip crayon in this video because I'm not really a lip crayon person. I don't purchase them a lot, um, but I will let you know that I own two lip crayons. I have one from Mineral Fusion that is just a tint and I think is basically a balm and I don't use it a lot. I guess it's fine, but then lately I've been trying this Burt's Bees one, but I haven't tried it enough to really give you a good opinion. Um, but this is the like more shimmery kind. And this is in the shade Santorini Sunrise. Let me just swatch it for you. That's Santorini Sunrise on there. I'm kind of getting used to this, but I think I'll just review it in a different video. So I'm sorry if you are a big lip crown person and I gave you nothing <laughs> in this video. Um, maybe later when I find better ones to recommend to you guys, I'll, I'll go for it. But yeah, just so you know, I knew that I left that out, but I just don't have anything to recommend. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.